16. These are the pictures of Alton Sterling struggling with the officers. And then he was shot. The incident was one of several that fueled Black Lives Matter protests. Louisiana's Attorney General now says there's no case to be made. The authorities maintain Sterling was armed. His family says he was the victim of a racially motivated murder. Let's go to Washington and speak to Steve Mort. Uh, Steve, what more has the Attorney General said in dropping the charges and saying there's no case to be made against the officers? Well, the Attorney General has basically said that the protocol, the correct procedures were followed uh, in terms of uh, determining that no charges should be uh, brought against these two officers. We also had a statement from the governor of Louisiana saying, while everyone may not agree with the decision here, the process outlined by law was followed. So very much echoing the sentiments of the Attorney General of Louisiana. It's interesting that officials in the state are noting that the police department itself uh, plans to hold hearings, uh, disciplinary hearings against these two officers. These two officers could still face internal action by the police department. And of course, all eyes will be on the reaction in the community should the police department determine that there was some sort of malfeasance on behalf of these officers, but that the criminal justice system did not. And in fact, uh, there was quite a furious reaction from within the African-American community led uh, by the family of the victim in this case, uh, his aunt, Veda Washington, saying they're not going to bring charges on anybody. Why would they? This is white America, really cutting uh, to the heart of the issue that is troubling this community uh, and raising the specter of those uh, racial tensions which wrought chaos across the U.S., of course, last year. Yes, and what is the state of race relations like in the United States at the moment? They weren't at all good when the country had a black president, Barack Obama. Black Lives Matter, uh, the movement continues strongly. Now you have a Republican president like Donald Trump, who's quite reactionary, many would say. And we've just had a shooting in Sacramento, in California, where a black man was shot multiple times after police mistook a white telephone for a gun. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's right. Well, the, answer, the, the short answer is not good. Uh, the case in Sacramento really has brought this uh, back into the fore again. During, of course, the Obama administration, you had those uh, riots, if you will, in Ferguson, Missouri, uh, caused by the shooting of uh, Michael Brown, uh, also an unarmed black male. Uh, in Sacramento, uh, there was a council hearing today, the Sacramento City Council holding hearings with local residents to discuss their feelings about this latest case. Uh, one resident saying at this meeting, Sacramento is just like Ferguson, which of course is what a lot of authorities do not want to hear. Ferguson was a low point uh, in modern times in the United States when it comes to race relations, and certainly in terms of Sacramento uh, and the flashpoint that that shooting there seems to have triggered. Uh, it does appear at the moment that the community in, in Sacramento, at least, is mobilizing in protest. Uh, it's just a case of will those protests spill into other cities around the country?